The password for the next level is stored in a file somewhere under the in here directory and has all the following properties. It's human readable, it's 20 or 10, 33 bytes, not executable. Now, immediately to me, especially when I see the find command listed under here, uh, I think this is calling for the use of the find command because it has a number of very powerful ways to filter on different files. Um, I don't know them all, unfortunately. I kind of Google as I need it, so we'll see if I actually do need it. If not, I'm going to just cheat over here. So again, we take a look at what's available. We see there is an in here directory. I'm going to go ahead, go in, take a look at what's available. And we can see there are a whole bunch of different directories present. Let's go ahead and go into one of them. And we can see there's a bunch more files. And as we look at the files, we can see the sizes, we can see the permissions that are available. Uh, yeah, that's essentially what we need. Oh, we also need to look and see if they're binary data or not. So let's see. So my immediate idea is to use uh, find. First, I'll show you what find will do. Find, when you say just the current directory, is going to show you every directory and its contents beneath this point. So, for example, it's showing us this child directory, its files, the next child directory. So that's a good start, but we need a little more. So there is a minus ls command. It's really helpful. We've been using ls this entire time to do listings. So let's see what that gives us. I'm going to widen this terminal out a little bit and rerun that just so that the output's a little nicer to see. And now we can see it's doing an ls. It's giving us the sizes, the permissions, etc. So we could run a grep, which is like a, a search. So we're going to use the pipe over this. And we know this needs to be 1033. It's going to be the size. So let's see how many results we get when we do that. And we can see there's only one result at this point. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab this guy. and see what happens when we cat it out. See if we can't get a password from that. And we do. That looks human readable. Uh, again, this is kind of a hacky way to do it. It's just there are so many different command line options for, uh, for all these commands that you know you learn a subset, you start to learn how to do your own work and filtering, and then maybe you learn the other stuff as you go if you need to. But uh, let's, let's take a look quickly at the man page for find. And let's see if we can't do this the smarter way. So I, I want to do a search on size. So I'm looking for the size argument first. We know it needs to be 1033. I'm trying to find a flag for that in here. All right. Time-related things. Group. Here we go, size. So we do a size. What does it say? N. What does N stand for? File uses less than, more than, or exactly N units of space rounding up. So I'm thinking we can do a, a size, minus size 1033. Let's try that. Again, we've already solved this. We're just, we're trying to learn a little more. Maybe I need that 
and in front of it. Hmm. Minus size. That didn't quite work. It's showing another minus. Let's give that a shot. Minus size minus. Well, that is too many files. Mm. Find Linux command exact size. A lot of times these man pages are just really difficult to read and you have to monkey around with them a lot. So I tend to like to look for examples. The site called Linux Size is really good. They give you a bunch of different examples of different possible ways that you can use this. So I tend to just scroll through and hopefully I see something that more or less matches what I'm hoping for. Uh, ah, here we go. So it looks like I needed a C to indicate by it. So minus size 1033 C, maybe. Let's try that. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm not going to go through more, but I know there are definitely there are ways you can sort by permissions and all kinds of things. So again, you know, you uh, you learn the skills you need at the time you need them, and then you you move on. There are a million ways to do any of these challenges.